Now, your weather authority forecast. Sponsored by Greenway of the Shoals. A new way, the right way. Greenwayoftheshoals.com. Taking a look at some of our rainfall totals since Sunday, Huntsville, we have seen more than two inches of rain. Decatur picking up almost two inches with 1.87. Muscle Shoals seeing 1.82 inches of rainfall. Still looking at that wet weather moving through primarily south of the river right now is where we're seeing the majority of it. And this will continue to push off to the east tonight. But overnight into tomorrow morning, as temperatures cool below freezing, our concern will be those icy patches or what we call black ice. So that moisture that is still left on the road that does not go away with the wind that might help try to dry it out overnight uh, that will that will refreeze because of the temperatures getting as cold as they will. So just be advised that especially bridges and overpasses they could be slick in spots because they cool quicker and that's what we're going to be watching overnight tonight and that's what you should be watching if you're having to head out early tomorrow morning. Future cast continues to push all this rain off to the east for us tonight. A couple lingering showers to our south and our east, at least of Huntsville as we head into the early overnight hours. And then we're going to start to clear out some of this cloud cover into tomorrow. Now early in the morning, if you're heading out, you might still see some clouds. This is a snapshot at 630 and you might be wondering, well, Danielle says it's going to be sunny. Well, it will become sunny as the day wears on. So you can see here how the clouds really just go away. And by at least late morning, all of us are seeing some sunshine. It'll be a nice day, but it's to be cold and gusty. I want to talk more about the temperatures. 30 degrees tonight. North winds up around 5 to 10, but they will be increasing tomorrow morning. So while they might be light here, at least in the interim, when we get closer to daybreak, those winds could be sustained as high as about 15. Forecast lows dipping into the upper 20s and near 30 degrees. And so, yes, kids at the bus stop need the heavy coats out there. Still a little damp, though. And the drive into work, again, could have some uh, icy patches or maybe even some wet roads still out there just depending on how much that wind can dry up overnight. But yes, the winds do turn stronger tomorrow morning. Air temperatures start around 30 degrees. We get the sunshine in here. Cold front continues to push to the south. High pressures building in for the weekend, so that'll be nice. But 42 tomorrow with north winds sustained at 15, gusting to 25 and maybe even a little higher than that. It's going to make it feel like the teens and 20s throughout the day. Here's 6 a.m. Wind chills here, upper teens to near 20 early on. And so certainly need the maybe even the hats and the gloves tomorrow. And then, of course, as air temperatures rise, the winds still stay strong. But we have the wind chills coming up into the mid 20s for us. And after that, we get into Saturday morning, which is going to be one of the coldest with temperatures dipping down into the 20s. But at least we get the 50s in the afternoon near 60 on Sunday. Next week looks nice. We're going to have temperatures approaching the mid to upper 60s and kind of a string of those going into the end of the week. And our next rain chance comes in next Wednesday.